Hey, welcome again. Thanks for your uh, participating in this Daily Word, capital W. By the way, pass this along to others if you feel it's a blessing. Have them uh, connect, subscribe. And you can always connect with me, by the way, Pastor Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at repentday.com. Matthew 15, and I love these first, I think, 20 verses. Defilement comes from within. What a powerful lesson. The center of repentance, really. Verse 1, then the scribes and Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus, saying, why do your disciples transgress the transit the uh, tradition of our elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a, I'm sure a half hour sermon on this one on legalism and tradition. I hope you can spot how it's really from the enemy. The Holy Spirit is free. His mercy is fresh every free. He wants you and me to be a part of a, a new wineskin. He's pouring out his Holy Spirit on all flesh. And the church itself, stuck in tradition and apostasy and legalism, is um, going to have to clean up quick. You and I are part of that. Any part in you and I that are stuck in, transit, in tradition, remove it today. Verse 3, he answered and said to them, why do you also transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition? For God commanded, saying, honor your father and your mother, and he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me as a gift to God, and then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Amen absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is out of Isaiah 29, 13. And then verse 10, then when he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, hear and understand, not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. And then his disciples came and said to him, do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? But he answered and he said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted will be uprooted. Whew. Repentance. Hope that's a word for you today. It's a word for me. I want to get ev everything that is not of the living God out of my thinking and my words. Verse 14, let them alone, Jesus says. They're blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into a ditch. And Peter answered and said to him, explain this parable to us. So Jesus said, are you also still without understanding? Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Verse 21, then Jesus went from out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. She knew who he was. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. 
But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshiped him. It's a word for you and me today, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, it's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And Jesus answered, this is verse 28, and said to her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Do you love the Lord? Verse 29, Jesus departed from there, skirted the Sea of Galilee, went up to the mountain and sat down there. And great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, many others. They laid them down at Jesus's feet and he healed them. Yes, yeah, so you need a healing today. Call on the risen Christ, our Lord Jesus. So the multitude marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed made whole, the lame walking, then the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. Now Jesus called his disciples to himself and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they've now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat. And I don't want to send them away hungry lest they faint on the way. And then his disciples said to him, where could we get enough bread in the wilderness to fill such a great multitude? Jesus said to them, how many loaves do you have? And they said, seven and a few little fish. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fish and gave thanks. Yeah, thanks to his Abba Father. Such a great teaching. That's what you and I need to do all the time. He broke those loaves, gave them to his disciples, and the disciples gave them to the multitude. So they ate and were filled. And they took up seven large baskets full of the fragments that were left. Now those who ate were 4,000 men besides women and children. And he sent them away, the multitude, and got into the boat and came to the region of Magdala. <sighs> Send with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your miracles. We ask you to bless the believers that are watching this video, Lord, touch them with your same power of healing, alive and fresh today as, as it was then. Feed us with your miracles. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you.